Hey, what's going on? So in the past couple months, I posted a few videos regarding the Harry Potter real fireball wand, and this is it. And um, there's been a lot of questions regarding how far the fireball can go, um, and that is actually dependent on the size of the flash paper that you put inside. Um, so I have gotten five different sizes of paper that we're gonna try out and see how far the fireball goes. And that way you can see um, that it all really depends. The, the smaller amount that you put on, the more of a flash it's gonna make, and the more amount that goes in, the further it's gonna go. So let's try it out. Just so you guys can see, I've put a measuring tape down here, that way we can get a clearer view of how all of this looks. Here we see all the different sizes, and you can see it's uh, the smallest one is about one inch, like is about one inches. The second one is about two inches. The third one is about uh, like three and a half, four inches. The fourth one is about five inches. And the last one is about eight inches. So let's try it out. The first one we're gonna do is the smallest amount. So the thing with how these work is how, um, how compact it is, it is inside. And the thing is, if it's not really tight or anything like that, it's only gonna flash. It's not really gonna like, you know, pop out. And so I swab it with um, chopstick and uh, let's see it. Let's see, let's see it in action. Okay, see, that was just a flash and it was really, really close to the wand. Didn't really go anywhere. Uh, it wasn't really stuffed in there because it's not so much paper in there. So let's move on to the two inch one. Two inches is not a, not a lot, but we'll see the difference. Swab it a little bit. Okay, that went a little bit further. So let's try the three inch one. Now the three inch one, we're gonna start getting into kind of like a little bit more of a, of a kind of like a tighter fit. And um, you'll start noticing that there's probably gonna be more of like a pop in general. Here's a three inch. See, it got a little bit of a pop there. And now, um, now we're moving on to the five inch one, which is gonna be a little bit tighter in there and hopefully we can get it, get it in there. Um, now I'm thinking that eight might be a little bit too big to actually uh, um, to get it swabbed in here, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. This one's a little bit tight in there. Here's the five inch. Oh, that one was good. Okay, see, now we're starting to get into like kind of like a, a, a more of a more of a pop. So now the final one, let's do the eight inch. We have to fold it a little bit and get that swabbed in there. Oh, it did fit. And then we can see how far this one's gonna go. Hopefully it doesn't hit the, dra the drapes, but this one I've swabbed like really tight in there. I don't know if you can tell here. Oh, it's gonna be hard to tell, but it's really stuffed in there. I mean, you can see the white right there, right? But, ooh. Now, let's see, let's, let's try it one more time here. You have some extra piece of paper. This one was like about two inches-ish. Just do it from here. Oh, that's a nice one. So that's the difference between using the one inch uh, piece of paper and the eight inch piece of paper. Um, it really depends on how stuffed it is inside the wand and how much you swab it. Um, and that'll determine how far it goes and how much noise it makes. So hope, hopefully that answers everybody's questions about this. If you guys have any other questions that you want me to put on video, just let me know and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.